Hey guys, so today's video is on class homogenization in Black Desert. So class homogenization refers to all members of the same class playing in the same way. Uh, it feels less of having your own RPG character that you can customize and use the way you want, and more of a fighting game character with various cosmetic skins that you can apply. So one of the main reasons for this is that in Black Desert, Skills are not powerful or different enough to force variation in combos for most classes. So what this means is that instead of having, for example, a ranger that has two skills that they can choose from, arrow rain or piercing arrows, the ranger only chooses arrow rain because arrow rain is so much better than piercing arrows that there's no reason for them to choose piercing arrows. In Black Desert, not only can they choose arrow rain over piercing arrows, they can also then grind up enough skill points to also get piercing arrows, just in case they ever need piercing arrows for some random point. There's also a lack of skills that have short cooldowns that should be used in different parts of combos over other skills that also have short cooldowns, or skills with long cooldowns that are really there to provide the extra oomph at the end of a big combo, uh, but that share global cooldowns with other similar skills. So it becomes less of picking your own skills to create combos that you like, and more of these are the best skills and this is the only real way they chain together, as they're designed to chain together in this way. So you're going to have to play with the skills this way. On top of that, having gear stay the same is great to entice players to go for pen. If you want players to invest the incredible amount of resources that it requires to get full pen, then you need to make sure that you're not introducing new pieces of gear that are upgrades over the gear they're trying to improve. The problem with this is that the gear in Black Desert uh, is fairly boring, and also upgrading it only really improves stats and is extremely expensive, like I just mentioned. With the amount of money you have to sink in to getting just even just a try, let alone tets, uh, anyone that has tets or pens, at least, and for sure anyone that has pens, is almost never going to sell their gear just because of how difficult and how expensive it is to get that gear in the first place. So even if they do introduce a new piece of gear, they're probably just going to stick with the old piece of gear unless the new piece of gear is markedly better, in which case confidence is lost in the developer and people stop trying to improve their gear past about try just because why bother when new pieces of gear are just going to be released that make their old gear invalid. Additionally, while they have tried to increase uh, the amount of boss gear in with side grades such as Griffin's helmet or Ergon's shoes, uh, just like Red Nose's armor before them, either they are too weak or the secondary effect just does not entice players to switch over to them. This also, what also happens is that none of these side grades really have any extra things or extra options on them that promote build diversity or entice players to make new builds. If there was an option, for example, on Griffin's Helmet that allowed skills with cooldowns of less than 5 seconds to deal 20% more damage, then an ultra short combo or long combo with short cooldowns type of build could be made viable. If there was a less radical option, for example, that said fire damage is improved by 10%, uh, then, and they introduced magic crystals that gave various elemental damages, then all of a sudden you could have the option to create an elemental damage build around fire or water or whatever you want to create your build around. And these are just basic examples. There's plenty of uh, other examples where you can introduce side grades and gear to promote players trying out different types of gear or trying out different builds just with the gear that they use. And the skills and gear in Black Desert doesn't really allow for this. Now, a more cynical person would say that the reason for this is because Black Desert wants you to play a certain character for a long time and buy weight and inventory for them, only to drop them for newer, cooler characters that have new combo options and new skill options. They look great compared to your old character that rarely receives, or if ever receives, new skills. But it could also just be that the design of Black Desert has kind of had Pearl Abyss dig themselves a hole in terms of 
uh, improving on class design for already established classes, as well as improving on gear. Because of how expensive gear is, once again, they've kind of shot themselves in the foot with regards to introducing new gear. They cannot introduce powerful gear without making players that have already invested hundreds of millions or even billions of silver into their old gear, uh, and they don't really want to reimburse players for all the money and black stones and memory fragments they spent trying to upgrade old boss gear. Not to mention how difficult that would be based on the RNG of it all, as some players can get boss gear to 10 or even pen in under a billion silver, and others spend several billion and still get stuck at try or tet. Uh, so that, all these are fairly difficult problems to solve, and they actually do have a few solutions in the works. The ra or Raybams, Rabams, I don't know how to say it. Basically, the combination of awakened and unawakened skills on the Korean server is an excellent start as it lets players choose uh, various combinations of skills that they want to use to enhance their other sets. They also are trying to buff the pre-awakened set, which could allow for more variation because if you could actually mix the pre-awakened and awakened skill sets, like new classes such as Strike are allowed to do, then all of a sudden a lot of new combos open up. The Musa, for example, is forced to do this already because a lot of his skills kind of suck. So he has to cherry pick the best skills from both forms just to properly the PvP. Of course, the Musa still sucks anyways, so that's a little pointless. Uh, but the Striker, for example, is designed around this. The Striker has numerous skills that allow him to switch in and out of the pre-awakened and awakened form without using the hot powers other classes have to do. And it feels really great to play. It feels dynamic, it feels fun, you can create your own combos. You can, If you know the class, you can create combos on the fly based on the situation. Obviously there are still some optimal combos, but that's how gaming works. Uh, as much as I would love it for all combos to be equal, there's no way for that to happen. Uh, frame advantage, damages, crowd control, super armor effects, all of these things mean that various combos that include the most of these in the least amount of time or the least vulnerabilities will be the best combos. But allowing other combos to be viable under certain circumstances is something that would definitely improve the user experience for each and every class in Black Desert. As when I'm playing a Musa, I don't want to necessarily be the exact same as every other Musa zipping around and cross-cutting their way through several thousand different mobs, or the same as every Dark Knight running around using Smoky Haze to switch between packs and Dusk to regenerate mana, and then blowing everything up with a Spirit Legacy. Like, a lot of people like to play RPGs in order to express themselves virtually, and when you homogenize all these classes, while it's great for fighting games, because fighting games needs everyone to be on the same playing field, you can't have one person playing Mario and having his Mario be able to triple jump and the other play person playing Mario only be able to double jump, but has super powered fire skills because then people don't know how to play against them, which is why fighting, gills, fighting games need the homogeneity. Uh, but in an RPG, you want to allow players creativity of expression. <laughs> that was my fiance, sorry. Uh, you want to allow players creativity of expression and to allow themselves to express themselves even in slightly suboptimal ways. But you don't want to force them to use the most optimal way only because all other ways are so suboptimal that you are playing the game absolutely pointlessly because you're doing like 30% of what a player playing the normal way would. Anyways guys, that's a quick video on homogeneity in Black Desert and in some other games. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like it and have a good one.